A 13-year-old girl is about to give birth, but she has no family members accompanying her. As the doctor felt sorry for her situation, she suddenly pushed him down and broke his fingers. It turns out the girl is no innocent child, she is a murderer. She killed her boyfriend because he didn't buy her a gift on Valentine's Day. Faced with such a violent girl, the doctors had to restrain her with handcuffs and proceed with the examination. When they touched her belly, she cursed at them, but they proceeded with an ultrasound carefully. Suddenly, her water broke, and the baby inside her was going to be born prematurely. The doctors quickly prepared for the delivery. But being only 13, the girl cried out for her mother in her most painful moments. She wanted her mother to be there with her, not knowing her mother was outside the ward. She didn't want to see her mother, as who would accept her after what she had done. Her daughter was a murderer. The daughter who used to be so obedient and well behaved had become a murderer, betraying 20 years of imprisonment. The father blamed himself for not educating his daughter properly, and couldn't face her dot when her mother came. She only waited for her daughter to give birth to take the grandchild away. However, in the delivery room, the girl insisted on having her mother by her side, saying she wouldn't give birth otherwise. She asked the doctor if her mother hadn't come to the hospital. Unable to bear seeing the girl in pain, the doctor revealed the truth. Upon learning the truth, the girl cursed the doctor, calling him a liar, as no mother would let her daughter give birth alone. At that moment, she felt like an abandoned child, helpless. The doctor held her hand tightly, continuously encouraging her. Yet, how could the doctor replace a mother? She was only 13, about to endure the pain of childbirth all alone. Thankfully, the baby was born safely. However, the girl didn't dare to hold her child, feeling unworthy to be a mother as a murderer. Surprisingly, her mother had the same thought. But when she saw the baby's face, her motherly love awakened instantly. She took the baby and told her to listen to her grandmother and never follow her own path. Her mature appearance was heart-wrenching. She was only 13, needing her mother's care, but now she became a mother herself. Though she wasn't a good girl, she was a good mother. In the end, the girl handed the baby to the doctor, who took the child outside to her mother. The doctor asked.